Hey everybody, this is just a quick update on the progress we've been making for LSIF Python at work. A lot of you have probably seen some of the streams where I've been working on this, and this also sort of doubles as a little demo for actual work. So I'm just going to walk you through some of what's going on. This repo actually lives as a fork of uh, the PyWrite project by Microsoft because we're using that library to basically generate a lot of the intelligence related to the Python stuff that we're doing. So without further ado, why don't we just poke around in some code. So this is on uh, cloud right now. I've uploaded a commit of, of a dump to here. We're just playing around in a pre-commit written by the great Anthony Wright's code. Shout out to Anthony. And I just want to show you some of the stuff that we have working. So one thing that's pretty cool is we can find references of things like class instances and their fields. Uh, there's a lot of other things called repo in this project, right? Uh, it's not going to only be that the only example of repo is actually on this class, but the Python analysis tool that we're working on actually understands that, which is really exciting and makes for a lot easier navigation. And of course the uh, navigation goes the other way, right? Where I can click to go back to the definition of that if we need to. We can also hop through to different modules and classes within a project. And so we're able to do, oh, whoops. Uh, looks like I forgot to turn off notifications. Oh, well. And you can even see where all of those references are as well. We can hop between different imports as well. If the import is within this project, later we'll be working on adding imports for other projects. Uh, we're not quite there yet, but that's pretty much the demo of where we're at. We'll be making more progress on this and have an official release hopefully within the next couple weeks. So with that, I'll see y'all later. Let me know what you think. Bye.